Right, hello and welcome. Uh, this is just a very quick video. I uh, <clears throat> just wanted to uh, test out the MP1 super antenna and see if I can get tuned into the VHF bands. I've only ever really used it for HF and I know that it can do <clears throat> um, 10, 6, I think it can do 4 and 2 but I've never tried it so I've just got half an hour spare so I thought to go and set up the radio outside and uh, try and set up the antenna so we'll go outside and we'll actually well it's bright we'll go and um, see if we can uh, get it working or not I've turned up a little bit it's a bit dark out here lately <coughs> I'm just going to do a quick video and test an idea out and I wonder if uh, if I can just get this on there on video so <clears throat> oh, say hello I've got me friend out here Betsy uh, oh, hang on right so uh, <laughs> I've got in this back I've got the uh, MP1 super antenna and something I've never tried before is um, <coughs> testing the uh, the antenna on two meters um, it's, it's, so it's a multi-band antenna uh, you, you use a, a coil uh, and a whip or a telescopic antenna on top of it uh, and for the HF bands but it also does um, two meters apparently just having the uh, coils put together so I'm just going to build this up hopefully the battery in this camera will last long enough because uh, I didn't charge the, uh, the battery from the uh, last time I did a video so I'm just going to put this tripod together he says putting the wrong bits in right. okay I was going to build this up put it out on the lawn plug it in with a I've got a SWR meter let's just get the camera around a little bit so you can see what's going on right. So I've got the um, the radi ra radials on the bottom there. I've got um, <coughs> on the bottom bit is the VHF uh, diplexer, duplexer, diplexer, and then on top of this I've got the uh, H uh, the VHF. Um, so this bit here is the coil. Uh, for your HF, this is the VHF band diplexer. Um, when you take out the the whip or the uh, telescopic, uh, you can get a tune on six meters. So that currently is uh, tuned perfectly on the uh, fifty point one five zero. So I've got a makeshift six meter band antenna there. I'm struggling at the moment to get it to work on two meters maybe because I need the telescopic antenna but I'm just going to keep trying and see if I can get uh, six sorted apparently it can do four meters as well because when I've when I made up um, where's it gone uh, when I first made this up I actually wrote on it I can get six four and two uh, on that uh, radial so I will actually try it on four meters at some point but I'm just going to try and get two meters sorted out because I'd like to get two and six and HF but now I've discovered I can do four it'd be good to get four meters so I'll keep playing about with it and uh, I might have to go and try and dig out the instructions okay so I've um, I've got 10 meters tuned in now let's get some better light on there I've got 10 meters tuned in uh, 
with the whip onto the antenna. I am <clears throat> taking the whip out. That tunes into six meters. Um, I'll need to go and go back to the original. Um, you get like a folded piece of instructions when you first buy the MP1. It was a couple of years ago since I bought it, so I need to work out how to get back onto two meters with that. Um, just using, let me just bring, get, bring this around, just using here the uh, 817 on a battery power, just while it's sitting in the garden while it's nice. So, um, 6 and 10, they're quite nice um, summertime uh, bands. Um, and I will just try and find out what to do about 2 metres. Right, okay, so um, I do need to use the... Oh, that's a noisy blackbird, that is. I do need to use the uh, telescopic whip, because you can adjust the whip. Um, to tune and get the SWR down, but there's what's oh, a magpie? Oh, big magpie! Don't worry, stand down. Um, and also with two meters, you actually use this um, uh, extension rod uh, with the uh, diplexer. So I do need to go and dig out the telescopic um, antenna rather than I use a titanium whip mostly with this. So I need to go and dig out the original telescopic, work out how I can extend this because I haven't got a, a spare socket on the end of it. And then uh, I'll be able to check and test it out on two meters. So we're okay for 10 and six at the moment. So um, that'll be interesting to test out one day. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to try it on four, four meters at some point. It means that I've just got to um, get one of my um, military radios out and get that on it and see what see what happens so okay well that's it that's a quick and quick video on the mp1 super antenna try and get it to work on vhf bands so um six and ten sorted and next it will be uh, two four and i don't i don't think i could do 70 on it 70 sems so it'd be uh, four and two next happy days okay google Who's the best looking amateur radio operator on YouTube? Carl.